Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at ICMA 2022, and I'm here at the Mutt Motorcycle Stand. So if you're not familiar with Mutt, they make small capacity 125 and 250 cc motorcycles in sort of more classic, sort of traditional, but you know, with a sort of an appealing edge. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you around the bikes here. I think I did a video from the stand uh, last year. Uh, however, I think there's a couple of new things that have come out and a few new colorways and uh, a new engine as well, which might be interesting. So here we go. So the first bike I'm going to look at is called the Mastiff, and it's this one. And it's an air-cooled, I think this is a 125. But just to give you a really close look, this one's quite well lit, so I think I can show you everything on it. Just, I think the fit and finish is really good. You know, they are, um, the company's based out of, out of Birmingham here in the UK. Uh, but just a lots of nice little styling cues, having the, the offset uh, fuel tank. I mean, I've got a similar Monza fuel cap on my CCM, and it was a, a, an extra I had to pay for. Um, but yeah, looking at this, coming down, seeing the seat, and then those, uh, uh, that exhaust just here on the side. Right, I'm going to have a wander into the stand and just show you a couple of others. So here we have a twin shock, and I think almost all of these bikes are available in both a 125 and a 250. Um, just to come up and show you another, another couple of variants uh, of that, and then another one down here. And then the one that really took my fancy is this one over here. Uh, the red one. So this is the one, this is called a Razorback and I think with the, the red and the gold I just think that looks that looks fantastic. So I think this is the 125 but it is also available as a 250. This is actually the low variant. As you can see it's just super super narrow as well. Um, I love those flat tracker tyres uh, that are on it, that, that low slung exhaust. And actually you know what, I'm seriously <laughs> considering getting a 250 version of that to put in my garage. Because I just, I just love the look of everything on this bike. It's got the adjustable levers, and just the fit and finish just seems to be, seems to be really, really good. The next thing I want to show you are these, and these are called the DRK series. And I think all three of these are the same. I'll just come up and look at these two because they're a bit easier to get to without bending down. As you can see, LED head headlamps, uh, and something slightly different in that these are all liquid cooled. So similar sort of styling. Uh, to some of the other bikes, but just with a more modern engine. Um, I think the price has gone up slightly for these just because of the additional complexity that it's involved there. But yeah, again, just a really tidy looking bike. And again, available in 125s and 250s. The next bike I want to show you is the Mongol. So it's got that sort of uh, more sort of vintage looking tires on the front, just very, very simple, you know, straight back motorcycle. Um, yeah, just again, just really, really nice looking. Very, well, basic, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, it's just, you know, what motorbiking should be all about. It doesn't need to have lots of fancy electronics, especially the bikes of this weight and this capacity. And the very last bike I'm gonna look at here is called the Mushman. Uh, so this is much more of a sort of scrambler style. Uh, it's got those sort of knobbly tires, um, but with that very, very low slung uh, exhaust underneath. Again, available in a 125 and a 250. Uh, it's got the LED headlamp on the front, and yeah, just you know, very straightforward, simple looking bikes. It does have that excellent alternative to a tank bag with a luggage frame on that leather strap just across the tank. So there you have it, that is my quick look at Mutt Motorcycles here at ICMA 2022. I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from ICMA, and maybe I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.